Hey, yesterday was a big day, wasn't it? Yeah. Because? I don't know. We hit 100 subscribers. Yeah. So thank y'all. We appreciate y'all for subscribing. Y'all keep watching. We're going to try to make it interesting. We actually just got done uploading a video as we speak, trying to make some more room to record this. Uh, and we're going to show y'all what we're doing today. We're tackling another big project with the 6.4 that we're not overly enthused about, but we got to get it done. So we'll show y'all what we're doing. We are in the midst of tearing this dash out of this truck so we can replace that heater core. So we've already taken our A-pillar covers off, which there was just four bolts for the handles and they popped off. We took these in pieces of trim off. They just popped off, pulled the weather stripping back, took our thresholds off, popped the kick panels off and all that stuff just pops off. And what we're trying to gain access to, how many bolts is it? We think it's 10. 10. I think there's 10 bolts that hold this whole entire dash in here. It'll all come out as one piece, everything, the whole entire thing without put, popping any plastic off or anything. We got these bolts here. We've already started pulling a couple of them out. We got one, two, three here. Gary's got two in the same place on his side. And then up here, I don't know if your windshield's so dirty. Right here in this hole, two bolts down in there that, for the metal frame also. There's one here we gotta try to get to. Right in there where that rubber plug is, there's another one. These are all 10 millimeters. And what else are we missing? You got to, there's there's one, some at the bottom in there. One by the, uh, brake pedal. Yeah, and come to find out, this also has the uh, what's it called? Heat supplemental heat system, which it has a, a heater grid, an electric heater grid, on the uh, heater core down there to make the heat warm up faster. I guess for the sissies that are mall crawlers and everything nowadays, got to have their heat warm as soon as they crank the truck up. Um, for all of us old schoolers, we just crank our truck up for 10 minutes, don't we? That's it. So, but anyways, Ford wanted 400 and some odd dollars for that heater core. Yeah. So our goal is is to do the other option you could have got with this truck, which is just a plain Jane heater core. We're gonna hope that it fits in this box and don't worry about buying the super high dollar one that we are having trouble even finding right now. So we're gonna keep pulling this stuff apart All right, guys, I think we're going to shut it down for the night. It's uh, 7 o'clock, so, and we want to rock. Not really, but we got uh, the truck's still mobile right now, so we're going to park it over on the side where I usually park the shop truck. And uh, Miss Automatic can still park in here and not be mad at Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Have Gary mm -hmm. causes a lot of problems around here. <laughs> And then talk to them about it. Anyways, so we'll catch up with y'all the next day we pick up on this. And we'll... So we are back. We picked up. This has been what, like a week since we were working on this? A week and a half. Or something like that. Anyways, Gary's just been so busy. Real busy. Doing leaves. Hanging out with Justin. Yeah. But anyways, I think all we got left is we got to undo the steering linkage. We gotta undo the linkage to the, not the linkage, but the cable that goes to the transmission, the gear selector. Um, what else we say, Gary? Or uh, something else? The two bolts. Uh, transmission we, cable. I said that. The... I think that was it. And then we got the, we left a bolt in each end of the dash and I think we're gonna have it all free. And we can pull this thing out for you. And then we can get this heater core put in and Gary can actually drive his truck. 
So we're popping off the <clears throat> cable for the transmission from here. I know some people are talking about getting underneath the truck and doing it. But this seems way easier. So I just undid it right there. So here's our, our linkage. It popped right on that stud right there. And then we just got to take the little block out of here. But is that going to come when you try to pull the No, off it's because I'm going to pop it out of here. And then it's got one little holder down there. I got to pop it out of. Wow. And we'll be able to, that'll, that won't be attached anymore. So now we got to undo the bolt right there in our steering knuckle. U joint, whatever, linkage. We got to take that off so that won't be attached. We got to unplug the plug here for the throttle pedal. I got to undo the OBD2 uh, port here. And just basically looking for a lot of things like this that's still connected so we can take this out. What are you doing, Gary? Taking these bolts off for the glove box. Why are we doing that? So it'll be easier to hold. So you got to get a good handhold. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it right yeah. there. Yeah, that, that one down there is the one I was messing with right down there. I don't know if I found you. Ain't too thick. Another win. Let me know when you find the cash. <clears throat> Oh, that one. Oh, what's up with this one? That's not that one. One right there is one. The one that's this. This one here. One. You lift up on it. I think I broke the the little holding clip before you're supposed to raise that handle up. It raises up that gray part, or you can do that. That's why you couldn't get it out. Why? Because you got to get the these tabs undone. I um, don't have enough room to tilt it out. Now, unless there's something in the middle there that I can't see here, I think that's it. You ready, Lee? I am. Okay. Is it stuck? <laughs> I think we got it wedged right here. Oh. What was that? I don't know. Hang on a second. <laughs> Yeah. Now, I don't want to sit it right now. All right, sit it right there for a second. I'll take one around. All right. Those are the gloves I found. They sure are. Thanks for finding Merry these gloves, Christmas. Gary. Merry Christmas. What do you think? Yeah. If we just leave the dash out, you'd have a lot more leg room. We're on our way to a race truck. On the way to the race truck. So we found out what the loud crack was when we were removing the dash. It was this lip right here. I, wish, I should have shown you when it was loose, but uh, we siliconed it up. Uh, silicone is what I thought would dry the quickest by the time we put this new heater core in. It'd be uh, set up pretty good. It's not a real structural thing, so I think the, the clear silicone will do just fine. But uh, we're going to pull the heater core out now. Right here, and this is the part of your supplemental heat. I don't know if we talked about that before or not. But this truck has a supplemental heat package, meaning that as soon as you turn it on, basically these carry a whole lot of amperage here. And they have an electric grid in here that uh, actually makes the heat get hot more so than the water does initially. So we're gonna get this pulled apart and we'll show you all the heater core. supposed to take this whole HVAC box out to get the heater core out. Obviously, you can't raise this up with all these long hoses. Let me see better on the new one here. I can't raise that up all the way out of here with the hoses. So we're going to do what a Ford tech actually told me they do. And uh, they said they cut these lines here and they actually put the new heater core in and hook the lines up with a 
hose and hose clamps. Uh, basically how you would do an old school heater core anyways. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're not taking this whole thing out because the bolts go through the bottom of the cab and you can't hardly get to them. This has got five inch exhaust. It makes it even harder to get to the bolts. So we're gonna hack some stuff up, so to say, and uh, put the hose on the pipes to do it that way. So I'm gonna get busy doing that. There you have it. That's where it was blown up. And this one, so what we're doing, you can see these are way different. This is the expensive one. It's hard to find and nobody had it. Uh, Ford couldn't even get it, is what they were saying. And this is the one that was, what, $60? And we got an AutoZone. Lifetime warranty. So that's what we're going with. All right, so to make this other heater core work, like y'all saw earlier, there was a divider right here. We cut that out and made it the same size as what this back slot was, because this, this one here was smaller. Now to get the, to slide all the way down, that plastic piece, the white plastic piece in the bottom has that, that hex head right there next to that other hole. That's what's holding it in. So we're gonna take that out and that's gonna allow the heater core to sit all the way down at the same height is what that smaller heater core was and allow us to put this piece back over the top of it so it'll all go back together and it'll be sealed up in the box right all except for this hole here which we will we're gonna figure something out for that but other than that that'll be it and there you have it the uh, cheaper heater core for the non-supplemental heat installed after we modified the box for it and uh, we made our cuts Right slap dab in the middle where this rubber hose is. Installed brand new uh, half inch heater hose, brand new clamps. Got them all tightened up real nice. And now we're ready to uh, put the top back on it here. Put the top back on the evaporator. Um, we're gonna wrap this positive up really good with some electric tape that went to the supplemental heat so there's no chance of it ever grounding out on something. And then we'll be ready to put the dash back in. We are all back together on the HVAC box. Now we're going to wrestle that dash back in here. Are you excited? You talk about starting late on me. What was that? A screw I had in my mouth. You made me drop it. it. Fell on the ground. Luckily. I'm adding our antifreeze to it. Um, we got the dash all bolted in, except for the real hard ones up by the windshield. Um, make sure we don't have any leaks before we 
uh, put everything back together totally. So we just got our bolts in the sides here right now. So I'm gonna fill it with antifreeze water and uh, let the batteries back up. Gary's gonna put the air filter back in and uh, we're gonna give it a try. So Is it time? Maybe. We gotta put more stuff in there. Well, it's full right now. It's gotta get sucked down more. Okay, this is the eight, right? I don't know. Yeah. We gotta get Gary glasses. <laughs> Why? What do you keep see, doing? I can't see little You keep stuff. putting all the sockets back on the wrong stud. <laughs> yeah. And then I can't find them. Yeah. been doing that I've been sitting here because I already did my side all done back together I hurry up so we can drive it down the road hundred eighty six degrees old temp 190 we got her warmed up we'll take her for a spin in a minute and check back in with y'all all right, guys, I'm at a garage. We got the uh, white Super Duty all up and going. Uh, coolant level's good. It's got antifreeze in it. Check transmission uh, fluid again. What else? Motor oil was good for now. We got to change that in the yeah, filter sure. still. But uh, we're actually going to drive it to work tomorrow and do a little cleaning up on it maybe in the evening. So it's good to go. It's Automated Garage signing out. Y'all like, subscribe, comment. Check us out at Facebook. Check us out on Instagram now also. And AutomaticGarage.com. Check you some merch out. Get you a hat, maybe. Um, we got more videos coming on this truck, more videos coming on the 66 F100 and our shop truck, and uh, who knows what else, right? And the blue Cummins. So uh, we're signing out. We'll hot y'all later.